Last week, I did a video on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sales and the fact that the game is lagging behind the physical sales in the UK. Now, we don't have digital sales. I don't know if we're going to get those or not. But I think it's safe to assume that the game probably isn't selling as well as Remake. And it's a little bit harder to sell as good as Remake when Remake is on three platforms. It's on Steam, PS5, and PS4. Because don't forget, they re-released it on PS5 with a remastered version. So a lot of people probably bought it again. There's probably people that bought that game twice. And then there's people that bought it on Steam. So Rebirth being on one platform is going to hurt it. Now, I think when the game... I think when the game comes to Steam, it will sell better. And I I think, I really do think a lot of those sales that the game is missing will get caught up on when the game comes out on Steam. Or it won't. I I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that I've enjoyed the time I've spent with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and most people seem to like it. I haven't met too many people that have said they didn't like it. For the most part, people that have played it seem to enjoy the game. But the facts remain, it's not meeting expectations, I'm sure. I'm sure that they would like this game to be selling better. Uh, Now, I don't know if Sony gave Square an extra little sack of cash because the game is exclusive. I don't know. I don't know if those details are public. But there's more evidence that the game is lagging, and that's from Japan. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sales drop about 90% in Japan. I don't know how much it costs to make this game, but this game is massive. I'm going to guess that it costs a lot of money. This is interesting, though, because you would think in Japan it would sell really good, but uh, the sales have dropped about 90% over there, which is not good news for PlayStation. So according to Insider Gaming, uh, the latest sales report for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in Japan has the game at about 24,000 copies as of March 4th to March 10th. The game's total sales now sit at 287,000 In its second week after release, it previously held first place after selling 262,000 copies throughout its launch week. And as it says here, this may surprise some critics alike and players alike because the game has strong reviews. However, the number actually falls in line with the series' previous releases in Japan. What's going on with Final Fantasy and Japan? Has has Japan stopped playing these games? Which is wild because there was a time where Americans didn't even get these games. It went from Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 to 6 over here. Well, that's not true. I think we, so. Here's what we got until Final Fantasy VII. We got one, four, and six. But on, but on Super Nintendo, they called four two, and they called six three because those are the only ones we got. Like RPGs like this. Actually, what am I thinking? Because Final Fantasy isn't even an RPG like that anymore. And by that, I mean turn based. They don't even do that anymore. They're more like action RPGs now. But for the longest time, Final Fantasy just wasn't a game that we got. And then Final Fantasy VII was a tremendous success over here. And the series came out every year here. And then they renumbered stuff. And then eventually, we got those games that never came out over here on PlayStation. And the uh, Final Fantasy Anthology Collection. But 
it's wild to me that a big profile game like this like isn't just the the top of the charts selling like gangbusters over in Japan. And this is another problem with the ESG stuff and the DEI and these companies over in Japan like Capcom and even Square at a point. I think they might have walked some of that back, but they were changing their standards for Western players because there's more money coming in from the West. And I guarantee you, this game made more money in America than it did in Japan, which is wild if you think about it because that's new. That's a new thing. Like that was not the norm for a long time. So it's wild to see that kind of stuff, at least in my opinion. But I don't know what they do to bounce this back. I do wonder if the sales in America follow the same trend that's been going on, if this game is lagging behind Remake and not selling as well. AAA gaming needs to change. Like These games cost way too much money, and they take a long time to make, and there doesn't seem to be much of a profit margin. And it's going to make people hesitant to make original games and create new things. They're going to rely on, you know, this is why we get Call of Duty every year, Assassin's Creed every year, all these stale games. So, you know, I, I, I hope that they address this problem and fix it at some point because it wouldn't be that bad because there's so many good indie games, but, I do like uh, playing like a big spectacle like this, and I think you're going to see a little less of that. You're going to see more live service bullshit, which nobody wants, I would hope. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. How dare you!